What's up, music fans of the internet? I'm Kevin. I'm Derek. And together we are last week's album, two opinions on the best new music. And in this episode, we're going to be reviewing the new album from Sayana Plavin called Go On Now. And we'll be exploring the big question, does her folk rock solo debut make you want to stay or go on now? Uh, but before we get into that, we'll kick things off like we always do. Drinking a beer. Cheers, Derek. And everyone at home. Cheers, Kevin. Everyone at home. Sayana Plavin is a singer, songwriter, musician based in Providence, Rhode Island. She was previously in the folk duo Backyard Bettys and the folk collective Soft Cat. And about five years ago, she moved to a farm in Massachusetts and just started recording things on her own um, in her own spare time when she wasn't farming. And uh, then she had other musicians add to that to make what is this album. And this is her first solo record. And she actually funded it through Kickstarter raising twice her goal. So that's pretty cool. Well, let's talk about what it sounds like. Derek, what do you think? Uh, Kevin, before I get into that, I, I just want to ask the question, if she raised twice as much money as she wanted to on Kickstarter, wouldn't this be a double album? <laughs> uh, yeah, she's actually using that money uh, to go on tour to support the album. Good okay, point. even better. There we go. All right. So, <laughs> sorry, I had to get that out of the way. Um, I think uh, Go On Now sounds like Ingrid Michaelson, Stirred Alabama shaken, not stirred. Mm, interesting. Uh, I think it sounds like Joanna Newsom, Kat Edmondson, and Angel Olson camp out beneath the stars together. Um, and with that, let's talk about some key tracks. Derek, what are you going with? I'm going with album opener, Cruel and Blessed Be. All right. I'm going with number two, Low Hum, and number nine, Go On Now. So why don't you start off with the opener, Derek? Uh, yeah, I, I, first thing that struck me is uh, having a track open, or, you know, album opener with the title "Cruel." Um, just you know, kind of a, uh, a a good way to start, I guess, or or maybe not, depending on how you look at it. Um, this one's dominated by a moody, undulating electric guitar riff that runs throughout. There's some additional flourishes towards the end, but one thing that really captured my attention was the vocal melody. It was layered, but the individual lines were at some points in unison. And then they break up into these complex harmonies, and as they'd come back together in unison, unison again, for it, it just made for a very cool effect. Um, this intricate vocal melody combined with simplistic instrumentation really made for a hauntingly strong opening track. Nice, yeah, it did. Um, I really like that one as well. However, for my first key track, I'm going with the one right after that. It's called Low Hum. Uh, it's got some mesmerizing acoustic guitar along with really soft vocals and a barely there bass line. Uh, one really good line, she says, I miss my temper, a lamb of a leper, sting on my shoulder, wing on my tongue. And um, the bass line later comes in even stronger and heavier and almost sludgy um, and adds really nice weight to the song. I think otherwise it'd probably be too light and airy, but with that bass line, it's perfectly tender and meaty at the same time. Um, and then it has this really cool acapella outro, which just comes out of nowhere, but kind of works. Um, tell us about Blessed Be, Derek. Uh, Blessed Be is really, it, it opens with this, uh, what, what I thought was an organ with this oscillating um, riff. There's softly strummed acoustic guitar. Um, and as the song progresses, the organ does more playful flourishes and it really kind of takes off on a solo on its own towards the end. Um, I thought some of the lyrics here, here were some of the most vulnerable that Sianna gets into on the album, at least again, I thought. One example, uh, she says, blessed be the ones that hold your hands in their hands. I will hold this stone to my palm and look you in the eye. The hare knows to stay still when the fox is passing by. So really, I thought more so than other parts of the album, really kind of led, letting the listener into um, you know, some of these vulnerable and close thoughts. So I, I just thought it was really great overall, just how it all tied together. Nice. Yeah, that line about the hare and the fox jumped out to me as well. I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, but number nine, Go On Now, title track from the album, is my second key track. This one's actually a full band number. Um, it starts with acoustic guitar, bass, and layered vocals, and this sort of slow gallop drum beat. Uh, the chorus picks up for what I think is probably the liveliest moment on the album, um, as the whole track sort of bounces forward during that chorus. And it's a slow build, but a great country folk one at that. So definitely check out that track as well. And best lyrics, Derek, what lines did you like? 
Uh, you know, I'm pulling one from Blessed Be. It's a very short, but it's right to the point, and uh, I think she does that. She does that very well. So that's why I'm selecting this one. Uh, she says, "I will fight for you, but I can't fight you." Um, again, just kind of in this song that I thought was so, some of the most vulnerable lyrics. She's very short uh, to the point, but very poignant here. Um, you know, kind of a, the double entendre on the word fight, you know, um, being, uh, it was just a great line. I love it. Yeah, it was a nice turn of phrase there. Um, I'm going to go with a line from your first key track, dear, Cruel, where she says, hold on to your mountain, hold on to your sea. That old mean monkey, he got a hold of me. Um, and I think the monkey is the city. Um, she talked about this album is about her being torn between city life and rural life. Um, and I think that lyric really sums up that theme really well also. So moment of truth, overall rating and the big question, does her solo debut make you want to stay or go on now? Derek, what do you think? Uh, it makes me want to stay unless I might be doing some farm labor, in which case I kind of want to go on now. Um, but even that being said, I'll probably stick around for a little bit. Um, good things. I thought, I thought her vocals were fantastic. Um, at times airy, other times vulnerable, um, mysterious, sultry, really ran the gamut. Um, the layered vocal harmonies were great, especially when they were switching from this unison to harmonized, uh, type thing. I, I just thought it was fantastic and she did it uh, all over the place. Um, from a negative standpoint, uh, the bare bones approach, I thought at times, um, made songs sound repetitive um, somewhat. If anything, the sparse instrumentation constrained adding greater depth or texture to individual tracks. Uh, but overall, I thought it was great. So I'm, uh, you, you know, um, minimizing that con, and I'm giving this one a four out of five overall. Right on. Um, I will go in the same order you did. I'll answer the big question first. Um, does it make me want to stay or go on now? A little bit of both. If I'm in the mood for sort of meditating and thinking, then I want to stay with this album. But if I want to walk around the big city, I'd probably go with something else. Um, I don't think her style breaks new ground, but the way she mixes folk elements with rock elements is pretty unique. She brings in a lot of extra um, instruments that I was not expecting. And she does that in really subtle, classy ways um, that I thought were really well done. I just wish there were a little bit more of that melding. Derek, to your point, some of the just bare acoustic tracks left me wanting more. Um, on the pro side, like I said, she mixes those elements really well. And um, on the con side, a couple of tracks got a little sleepy. A few of them got a little too long. They always went to interesting places. They just took too long to get there. So I'm giving this one an overall rating of three out of five. Um, so there you have it, a three out of five for myself, a four out of five from Derek. That's a seven out of 10, so you should definitely check out Go On Now by Sayana Plavin and let us know what you think. Um, don't forget to subscribe to us here at last week's album where we're bringing you two opinions, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, two opinions on the best new music. And uh, until next time, we'll see you later, guys. I'm Kevin. I'm Derek. Cheers, guys.